In order to vote today, you need to be a Hampton resident, you need to be on the checklist, you need to check in on the checklist and get a, uh, a voter card, which you would sign, and also a wristband that um, you would wear uh, while you're here voting. Assisting me today, uh, Dennis Kilroy, Nathan Page, Daryl Mosher, and Bob Ross, and you can certainly seek them out if you've got a question um, about today's proceedings. Uh, what are we doing today? We are explaining uh, and discussing and debating and possibly amending the articles that have been set forth in the warrant, with the exception of those warrant articles whose wording is prescribed by law, the zoning and planning articles that appear at Articles 2 through 8. Uh, we will have uh, Jason Bichon from the Planning Department uh, go over those, and we can talk about them, but we cannot amend them. It's not necessary to vote any of the articles that appear on the uh, warrant onto the ballot because all will appear on the March 14th ballot. Our work today is to determine exactly how those uh, articles will appear with the exception of the ones that can't be amended. And final action will come on March 14th in the Winnicott Dining Hall where voting will be conducted from 7 in the morning till 8 in the evening. And just to recap, we can't eliminate a warrant article, we can't take away uh, the Warren article, no new purpose can be introduced that has not already been warned to the voters, and the purpose of appropriations can't be changed, and we can't uh, amend an article to eliminate the subject matter, can't stick the word not into uh, an article to make it a nullity. Rules of today's meetings, I'm going to go one article at a time. I'll read the article after the article has been moved and seconded for discussion. I'll recognize the proponent first and then open the article for discussion. I will recognize a new speaker on an article before returning to someone who has already spoken on the article, with the exception that the proponent of the article will be permitted to answer questions or offer further details regarding the purpose of the article in response to a question or opinion as appropriate. All questions should be directed to the moderator. If you wish to speak, please wait to be recognized by the moderator and then speak into the microphone. Uh, we want to make sure your remarks are carried over the airs, uh, airway to uh, people watching at home or who may watch uh, after today, so make sure you speak into the microphone. Uh, we will only deal with one amendment at a time. The amendments must be in writing. After the amendment has been moved and seconded, please give the written amendment to me so that I can give it to our town clerk, and we will have some paper on stage uh, for that purpose. Please focus on the content of the amendment or the article and refrain from personal comments. The moderator will revoke recognition of any speaker who speaks or acts in an abusive or disruptive manner. And the moderator will also revoke recognition of any speaker who refuses to keep his or her comments relevant to the article under consideration or is needlessly repetitive. Non-residents will be allowed to speak on the affirmative vote of the meeting. If an issue arises during the meeting that is not covered by these rules, I intend to use fairness and majority rule as guiding principles with due consideration for the minority's right to be heard. This is your meeting. You uh, have the right to overrule my determinations. Voting will be conducted by hand or standing vote as appropriate. Five voters may make a request in writing prior to a vote that the vote be taken by secret written ballot and after I've declared a vote and before any other business has begun, begun any non-ballot vote may be questioned by seven voters and the vote shall be retaken by yes, no, secret ballot. Reconsideration of votes previously taken may be restricted at any time during the meeting by an affirmative vote of this meeting. Um, please no cell phone conversations while the meeting's in session. Uh, per state fire code, please note the location of the exits and if the fire alarm activates, please leave the building by the nearest exit and uh, help anyone who needs help getting out and assemble in front of the SAU building, SAU 21 building. At this time, I'll entertain a motion to allow non-resident staff of the town of Hampton, Hampton uh, town employees to speak during the meeting to answer questions and to provide information regarding any warrant article, specifically the following individuals, uh, town manager Fred Welch, town attorney Mark Gerald, uh, Finance Director Christy Pulliam, Recreation and Parks Director Diana Martin, the Assessor Ed Tinker, our Fire Chief Jamie Ayotte, Administrative Assistant Christina Osman, our Public Works Director Chris Jacobs, uh, Lane Library Director Amanda Cooper, President of Local 2664 Jed Carpenter. So that is my motion. Do I have a second? Seconded by Mr. Bridal. All those in favor allowing those non-residents to speak? Um, raise your hands, your voter cards. Thank you. Down cards, any opposed? Those residents, those non-residents, excuse me, uh, will be allowed to participate in our meeting.